In today's video, I'm going to share with you a very simple way that you can get pressure in Madden NFL 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. First thing I want to do is let you know that the artwork for my channel is done by Sounds Fishy. His channel will be in the description. And the second thing is, if you like the video today and maybe you're new to the channel, we have a Discord server set up, so you can join that. The link is in the comments and in the description of this video. And uh, just join it. Come over, chat. You can DM me. You can talk one-on-one -on -one with me there. Um, we got a lot of stuff coming out, really, really good stuff for you. So anyway, let's jump into this video. We're going to be talking about how to blitz and Madden, and we're going to specifically be talking about how to blitz from the Dime 146, what I feel like is probably one of the best blitzes in the entire game this year. Um, so let me just come out in a shotgun spread just so that you can see the blitz, just so you can see, you know, kind of how it works, and then we'll go from there. So Big Dime 146, and the play that you want to come out in every single play is the DB Sting 2 Buzz. Now the setup that you want to do, basically what you do, you're not going to run this play. You're going to hit square and L1 to audible to cover 2 sync. And then you're going to base a line, right? And then you're just going to slide this corner in off the edge right here. Williams, the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to click on Harris, and you're going to kind of move him inside, and then you're going to click off. And you see he's going to go back out like that. And that's your user player. So that's the blitz. Very, very simple. And you'll see right here, three-man pressure. Now, what's really, really cool, or four-man pressure. Now, what's really, really cool about the blitz is it's very, very consistent. And if you all you have to do... All you have to do is flip this to the running back side. So, for example, if the running back blocks, let me just show you what's going to happen. So, again, I just base a line, right? You don't even have to base line, but I like to. And then I can QB contain. I like to pass commit. And then I just click on to Harris. I bring him down, click off, and then I get back to him So because he's going to be my user defender. Okay? And, again, I'm just going to user him into the deep, into the deep zone. Uh, let me zone out these guys. I'm in the DB2 sting, but you'll see here still that pressure. Oh, whoops! I'm sorry. I, I accidentally zoned off my guys. One, one, one sec. Let me jump that. Let me jump back. So again, base line. You're gonna audible to cover to sink. You're gonna slide Williams in, slide Reed in, and then you're gonna click on a Harris like that and just kind of manually move him. And then the last step is to contain rush. And you'll see here if the if the running back blocks, you see he's blocking to the left, and it's gonna it's going to kind of muddy it up a little bit, but but normally normally it's still going to come in. I, I don't know why it, I don't know why it didn't come in right there, but it's a again it's a simple a simple four man pressure out of this package here, and again you can just move him in like this, and he's gonna you just kind of want him to be kind of wide out here like this, and you want that little slip angle right there that you're going to get, and here we'll block the running back, and there you see there's the blitz coming in. I think it was because my my linebacker one of the tricks that I do. With this, when you move Harris, when you move him back, I think it's really important, and this is just my personal opinion, I think it's really important to, because um, you'll see, like, if I use a Warner, you'll see the Blitz will still, the Blitz won't come in as well, right? It just won't. So that's why I say user the left side, which makes sense anyways, because you're blitzing from that side, right? So if you just bring Williams in, just slide him in just like this right here. Slide read in just like this. You're going to move Harris out. And then what's really important, in my opinion, is to put him over the tackle. I like to use him over the tackle. You can move him as soon as the ball snap, but I like to just kind of sit there. Just make that guy kind of think you're going to do something. And there you see there's the pressure. Now, what's really cool about this is you can run it um, You can run it both ways. I'm going to show you how to do that in tomorrow's video. You can also send six. But this is a very simple way to do it. One last thing I want to leave you with is what I like to do if I feel like if I want to go with more of a passive pressure, I will take the defense, the nose tackle and put him in a bluff blitz. And then I'll take the linebacker on the right side that's blitzing and put him in a QB spy. And tip, and I will always put Fred Warner into a deep blue. So basically what you see here is I'm sending two people. I'm going to take Harris and I'm going to move him right over here over the sky right here. And you see there's the pressure right off that left edge. So again, this is a very simple passive pressure that you can send. You're going to get pressure um, if they... What they're going to start doing is they're going to have to slide protect. They're going to have to block the running back. And when the opponent starts to slide protect against you, it's going to open up your other, other blitzes that we're going to run from a blitz scheme. That's why you want to have a blitz from the left, a blitz from the right, and a blitz in the middle of the, of the defense. But here you see, 
Um, there's that two man coming in. Very, very simple. I want to leave you with a little bit of a final setup. But before I do that, I want to encourage you guys. Those of you that are new to the YouTube channel, we have a lot of tips for Madden. We have offensive tips, defensive tips. We have game plays, different schemes and different things like that. So I just want to encourage you that if you want to get better at Madden, if you want to get better for Madden 21, go ahead and hit that subscribe channel and join the Discord. The link is in the description of this video. That way you can get access to all of the videos that we're going to have going forward. You can also go check out some of the older ones and we'll have a suggested one for you at the end of this video. Anyway, for last but not least, so basically set up is base align. You're going to you're going to audible to cover to sync. You're going to slide your corners in. You're going to QB contain and then you're going to use her Harris and again, you want to put him right over the tackle. And then what I like to do is bluff blitz the nose guard and then take that linebacker that's blitzing, put him in a QB spy, and then I'm just going to use her that left side. And as you can see right there, two-man pressure from the edge. If they are running any kind of spread scheme where they're not at least blocking their running back, they're going to run into issues with this defense. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful to you. This is one special way that you can blitz in Madden 20. Again, the setup is in the description. And join that Discord server. I'd really appreciate it. And check out Sounds.